Hi guys, welcome to this quick video about how to download and install XN Shell. The thing is, XN Shell is a really good thing uh, which helps you to convert almost any picture format to any other picture format as you can see here when you install it you will get uh, when you right click on a picture you will get um, yeah the option here X and shell and then you go to like convert or rotate or copy to clipboard or print or uh, you, you have so much so many possibilities and the thing which I'm using is then usually I go to convert and use another format and then you get uh, usually other options especially with JPEG you can say uh, if you want to increase resolution you can even like uh, make a new like a copy of the of the existing picture and increase the uh, pixel density I mean the dimension of the pixel so you can use it on websites where they ask for a certain resolution this is one of the uh, things which I am using the most from XN shell so it's really really convenient it's free it's no virus it's uh, it's it's a really good thing so the problem is only how to get the free version and the last free version I think was updated in 2015 so and the problem is always where to download it so you don't get uh, adware uh, virus Trojan horse or whatsoever and my favorite location is chip.de it's a German site but no no problem don't worry you click you right click here if you are on Chrome and say translate to English and then you will have everything in English again no problem at all and here on chip I will put down the link uh, here to this XN shell into the description so please click on manual installation don't click on download xn shell i mean it won't be it won't uh, install trojan horses but it it's a uh, yeah it will at least ask you if you want to uh, install other strange things and don't do that so always use manual installation and you will be trouble free for sure i've done this 100 times so you get usually to the next page and then after that you will even have to watch a video that's part of this website i mean somehow they have to make money so we click on that and usually it opens a video which we can stop right away it's a little bit annoying usually so or we can at least yeah uh, some time ago it was able it was possible to stop it now you can't stop it but you can uh, turn the volume down and we get instantly the uh, download icon and yeah we click on that and now we get the file so x and shell 3.351 uh, zip file and yeah uh, save it wherever you want here i'm putting this on downloads and of course uh, yeah zip file you have to uh, then on zip and but it's no problem uh, yeah depending on the unzipper you have it will look a little bit different usually with a good uh, zipper or unzipper uh, program you should be able to then just double click and click on the install so I will do this right now we click on save so here it goes down we double click and yeah we can um, choose the file explorer and then we get the view where it uh, what's inside and then if you have windows uh, like uh, 32 bits um, like windows the old windows uh, then you have to choose this one I mean this one will all if you don't know which version you have choose this one if you know that you have a 64-bit Windows installation only then click on the 64 otherwise you click on this one so there is really not much disadvantage if you're using that 
the 64 bits version probably has a little bit of speed advantage but not much so you just double click here i have already installed it so no need for me to do that again but you will have to double click on xl xi and after that probably you have to reboot your machine and then you will find the um, option in your context menu that's always when you right click on a file of course that's not happening here because it's not uh, it's within a zip file first thing and second it's no picture um, it's not a not a picture yeah basically <laughs> so there's no options now but if you have uh, after rebooting you go to picture right click on that and you will have the X and shell as an option and you can do everything from there so that's about it i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time